So the first music learning technique I want to talk about is chunking. And the reason this is so important is because it's totally counterintuitive to most people. People tend to want to start learning a piece of music at the beginning. And they inevitably come up on the same couple of parts that they get stuck on and go back to the beginning and they end up on a hamster wheel and they don't go anywhere. What they don't realize is that your brain needs small pieces in order to move forward because you need to notice details, you need to have time to correct mistakes, and you need to have small chunks that your memory can internalize. Big pieces, your memory can't internalize them, but it can take little pieces and get good at them and put them back together. So this idea of chunking is a huge one. It's the most important music learning technique there is. Um, and let's break this down into a bunch of sub-techniques. So the most basic way you do this is breaking into little groups, taking little groups of things at a time. If I'm gonna like start working on this Bach double here, I'll take like the first four notes. And I'll do those again a bunch of times until I've kind of internalized those four notes. Then I'll go to the next four. Uh, what are they? Okay. Maybe do that, you know, five or ten times or however many times it takes to get it. Then I'll put those two pieces together. And I do repetition. Repetition until it feels natural. Then I'll go on to the next piece and add that piece in. And it, it, the key is that not necessarily to do things a million times in a row. So here's another really, really important technique. It is called spaced repetition. So in order to get good at things, your, your brain has to realize, oh, this is an important piece of information. And that happens when you see it again and again, and you focus on it and you put some work in to understand it. And what people tend to think is that repetition is the most important thing with music learning. It's not. Spaced repetition is important because once you learn a little piece and you just start doing it again and again, you actually tune out. You actually stop paying attention. You just start on this hamster wheel of doing the same thing again and again, and you actually don't get better at it. Whereas when you learn something, and then you go do something else, and then you come back, your brain realizes, oh, this is important because it came back. So that's what makes you internalize it as opposed to get good at it for just a second and then leave it and then forget it. So when you're going through things and chunking them, breaking them into small pieces, working on a piece until you feel like you've got it. As soon as you feel like you've kind of got it or you've improved it a bit, you go to another piece. You work on that piece until you sort of hit a pocket with it. What I always look for is trying to feel like, yeah, I kind of got this. Maybe not perfectly, maybe not totally, but I feel like something about it sort of clicks. Then I go to another piece. Or maybe I go back to a piece I already did. Because a lot of times you realize, oh, I just forgot everything I just did. So in order to really internalize things, you learn a piece, you learn another piece, you go back to the piece you just did, you work on it again. And then you work on the second piece, and then maybe to the third piece, and then the second piece again, and then the third piece, and then maybe check in on the first piece again. So this creates a technique that I call a crawl. Now a crawl is a very specific way of approaching a piece of music where you've broken it into pieces, you've already done your chunking, and to create spaced repetition to really internalize and weave all the pieces together, you work on a piece, then the second piece, and then maybe go back to the first, and then the second again, and then the third, but then you maybe go back to the second piece. You don't always go back to the beginning. This is the most important thing. Please stop going back to the beginning. It's really hard for a lot of people to get used to this idea, but it is death because it causes you to put all your attention on the same spots and you just kind of play through them again and again. And the type of attention you need to pay in order to learn things never happens. So the key is you've broken things up into pieces, then you you work on a piece and then the next piece, you repeat a piece that you've done and you keep kind of crawling forward like this. And occasionally you go back, but you more kind of go back to things that were more recent that you just worked on rather than always going back to the beginning. And every so often you might start at the beginning and play through everything you've done, uh, but, but you don't want to do that so frequently. It's not so important. Uh, but kind of the, one of the ways that I talk about doing that is in a technique called microscoping and telescoping.